The British summer is a time to delight in the great outdoors and enjoy open air concerts on long balmy evenings. Lexus chooses two prestigious music events at Castle Howard near York and Crystal Palace in London for the premiere of their extraordinary automotive orchestra. Castle Howard, nestling in North Yorkshire, is a perfect place to relax and enjoy a tranquil, slower pace of life. But not for the event organizers. There is far too much to be done. Their task is to build a stage for a most unusual orchestra. From the center line, 7.52 takes us to the middle of the outside car. Okay. So let's take that from here. Yeah. Measure twice, cut once. We are laying down the audio, the video, and the power for each of the outside six LS460s. And this is car two, which will sit at the front of this part of the set and be one of three cars that are facing outwards. Working in the great outdoors can impose limitations. We need to produce an environment that's slick, that says Lexus, that talks about beautiful cars and this wonderful music and all of that. And here I am out in the field. I know I've got a stately home, but as far as I'm concerned, I'm in a field. Um, and it's all quite brutal. It's all principally rock and roll type structure. So again, we're trying to make that look five star. Um, as opposed to grungy. Um, so that's been a big challenge for us on this project. And over the last sort of four or five months, we've been tweaking the designs, seeing what's feasible, trying to get to grips with the size of the cars, because when they start to perform their music, we need to keep all the doors open. The aim is to synchronize the lights and music to create a spectacular live performance eventually we'll end up with something like a Sonne Lumiere. So uh, to have that sound and light show, the lighting is obviously as important as the sound. The cars are about the sound, but we have to create the lighting. The beauty of the lights is we've got the colour mixing, which means we can pretty much choose any colour we like. They're supposed to do 16 million colours. We've got about 16 detergent units on site. Uh, some are rigged in the structure to light the cars, and we've got um, a large amount of units at the back that we're going to use to light the, the tent structure because we've got such a beautiful white sort of roof to light. And then on top of that, there's the video component. We've got ambient daylight at one point, we go to dusk and then we go to dark. So we've got an ever-changing environment that we're working in. We've got an audience that's an awfully long way away, maybe 14 and a half thousand of them tomorrow. So the LED's very bright, which is why we bring that sort of a screen in. So it's all going to look wonderful, but how's it going to sound? The one thing that we're not sure about yet, and that's because this is the first time this has ever been done, is how the audio dynamic is going to sound outside. We have run some outdoor tests, but never under cover like this. Obviously, it'll be quite difficult to test with a structure like this. So um, we're told by our audio engineers that it's all going to be spot on. Now, here we go. Red. Red. Not everything is going according to plan, and time is rapidly running out. No. Nothing. We've got a bit of a problem here. We've got two white cables under GV07. T, G, J. I need to know which of them you want connected to the left channel. Over. This calls for drastic action. You can't go forward, you've got to go backwards. I can't. Where, <laughs> am, I, where am I going? Straight. Yeah, can you see can me? You go straight. No? Right a bit. Keep right. going. There you right. go. We had a cable that wasn't working, so we just pulled it out, redid it, and put it back. Yes. Yes. It's a thumbs okay. up. Alice in Ordnung. So I don't need to send him back in? You don't. Very disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> Approvals all round, even from the ancestral Howard family. One of the Howard family has been round, given it his stamp of approval. He's very happy, very interested in what we're doing, which is great. When I first heard about the Lexus Symphony Orchestra, I thought it was an extraordinary idea, and it reminded me of um, several ideas I've heard after long, satisfying lunches, which subsequently get discarded. Fortunately, somebody's had the imagination here not to discard the idea. We loaned him a cherry picker. He went off to photograph his castle, which is always nice. So um, he's been busy, and uh, we've been busy. Fingers crossed, everybody. This is the moment of truth. Literally, within the next hour, we're going to have some audio for the first time. So I'm very, very excited. And as time ticks on, it's getting well into Friday night, and there's still much to do before the Lexus Symphony Orchestra's debut performance. 
we haven't yet run a full ensemble test, so I'm waiting for that to happen any minute. The guys are just doing a little bit of work behind the scenes, but it's quite late and it's about time. Yeah, standing by. Five, four, three. This is very emotional. I mean, this is months' work, months and months and months of work. Fantastic, absolutely fantastic. We have an orchestra. Come on, Jeez. come on. Oh, boy, the Tears of joy oh, before bedtime. An orchestra. You're filling up. Yeah, yeah. Wow, it's good. The night ends on a high, but the following morning is a different story.